Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at a new topic in numerical methods, which is fixed point iteration method. Fixed point iteration method can be used to solve a nonlinear equation. In the past, we looked at other methods called closed domain or bracketed bracketing methods to solve nonlinear equations. In this video, we're going to use fixed point iteration method which is an open domain method to solve this nonlinear equations. The difference between an open domain method and a closed domain method is for a closed domain method, we require two points and the solution, the exact solution needs to be within these two points. So we are bracketing the solution every time. But in open domain method, we start with one assumption and uh, we try to converse our uh, value to the solution. So sometimes open domain methods, they can diverge where uh, fixed domain methods or, or closed domain methods, they don't diverge. The nonlinear equation f of x equals zero could be an algebraic equation or a transcendental equation. An algebraic equation is one that has x, x square, and other powers of x, etc. In a transcendental equation, uh, which, which is a function of x, we have in addition logarithmic, exponential, and trigonometric functions. Some examples of nonlinear equations are given below. The first one is an algebraic equation and the second one is a transcendental equation. The fixed point iteration method algorithm is given below. Our objective is to solve for the root of the equation f of x equals zero. The first step in this method is we need to arrange the equation f of x equals zero in the form x of x equals g of x as shown in equation two. Once this is done, we can use an iterative scheme as shown in equation three, that is x of i plus one equals g of x of i, so that we can progressively solve for the root of the equation. This is shown on the left hand side. g of x is a curve in blue and x of x is a straight line shown in black. So we assume an initial value x of i and we find g of x. Once we get g of x, we equate that to x. So the x of the x at the next iteration, x of i plus 1 equals g of x. So this procedure is repeated until the solution gets converged. So the iteration stopping criteria is given as x of i plus 1 minus x of i, the absolute value should be lesser than or equal to epsilon 1, where epsilon 1 is a tolerance limit we specified. Or f of x of i plus 1 the absolute value should be lesser than or equal to epsilon 2, which is another tolerance limit we specify. To illustrate through some examples, the first one being an algebraic equation f of x equals x cubed minus 2x square minus 2 times x plus 1. And we rearrange this in the form of equation 2 that is x equals negative x cubed plus 2x squared minus 1 divided by negative 2x. So in an iterative form, it is presented in the third line. Similar arrangement is presented for the transcendental equation as well. Now we go to MATLAB and try to solve the nonlinear equation. 
So we assume an initial value for x as 0. The number of iterations we set it to say 100. And the algorithm is presented here as we discussed. The stopping criteria or the convergence criteria is given over here. We run this program. For the transcendental equation and we got the solution in 12 iterations and the the root came out as negative 0 0.768039 and at this value f of x is very close to zero we can look at it graphically and although there are two roots we were able to find only one root in this case and which is close to negative 0 0.747 and again um, the numerical solution we obtained is uh, more accurate than the graphical values we looked at so now we can uh, do this same problem to solve the algebraic equation. We run this program once again and we were able to solve the problem in uh, 25 iterations. The solution or the root for the equation came out as 0 0.381966 and f of x for this root value is very close to zero. We can go and look at the, the graphical presentation as well. So again, there are two roots. Uh, the one root we are looking at is uh, 0 0.381966, which is shown over here. It's close to 0 0.38384. So to summarize, in this video, we presented fixed point iteration method to solve nonlinear equations. Fixed point iteration method belong to a group called open domain methods against the other methods, methods that we looked at previously, which are called closed domain or bracketing methods. So the advantage of open methods is we don't need uh, uh, two initial assumptions. We need just one initial value to start the iteration procedure. And we don't need to know the exact solution at this point of time or where the range, uh, where the exact solution lies between two values. But one disadvantage in open domain methods is they can diverge easily. So in the next video, we can look at other open domain methods such as Newton's method and Seekin method. If you have any questions, please post it. Thanks for watching the video.